हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस इज माय सेकंड वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन एग्जांपल्स ऑन सेमीकंडक्टर मटेरियल इन माय फर्स्ट वीडियो आई हैव सॉल्व्ड सिक्स क्वेश्चंस इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व फोर क्वेश्चंस बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ क्वेश्चंस व्हाट आई वांट इज यू जस्ट ट्राई आउट ऑल दोस क्वेश्चंस बाय योर ओन सो फर्स्ट व्हाट आई विल डू इज आई विल शो यू दोस क्वेश्चंस यू कैन फ्रीज द वीडियो इन बिटवीन एंड देन ट्राई टू डू सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दोस क्वेश्चंस राइट I hope you are freezing the video and trying those questions right now. Later you can check for the solution whether your solution is correct or not. Now I'm going to solve first question over here. So if you observe first question, in that what is given? The intrinsic carrier concentration of silicon sample at 300 Kelvin is 1.5 into 10 to the power 16 per meter cube. So here intrinsic concentration Ni that is given. That is 1.5 into 10 to the power 16 per meter cube. If after doping the number of majority carriers is pi into 10 to the power 20 per meter cube. So here majority carrier that is given. And what is majority carrier? Pi into 10 to the power 20 per meter cube. The minority carrier density. is that is the question right so here by applying mass action law we can solve this right so what is mass action law mass action law that states that product of n and p that is equals to ni square so here for n type material n will be majority and p will be minority and for p type material p will be majority and n will be minority right so here i'll consider things in terms of majority and minority we wanted to have minority so here minority minority that will be ni square divided by majority right now what is ni that is this just do square of this so 1.5 square that is 2.25 and 10 to the power 16 will be 10 to the power 32 and majority that is given 5 into 10 to the power 20 so you see 2.25 divided by 5 so here if you multiply it by 2 so that will be 4.5 divided by 10 so you can say 0.45 into 10 to the power 12 as per this so you can say 4.5 into 10 to the power 11 Per meter cube. See that is what your answer. So if you check for the solution over here, this A is my correct option. Right. Let us have second interesting question over here. This second question is also based on mass action law. Let us read the question first. The concentration of minority carriers in extrinsic semiconductor material under equilibrium is. So we are dealing with to see concentration of minority carrier. in extrinsic semiconductor material so we need to see how it is related with doping concentration and intrinsic concentration so let me explain you first how things are there in terms of doping concentration and intrinsic concentration right so here what i'll do is i'll be going to consider n type material and p type material both so that you can have fair enough idea about other question solution even right so here see with n type material with n type material what is majority with n type material majority majority will be n right and that is donor so nd and with p type material what is majority with p type material majority is p that is acceptor na right and when you talk about minority so minority will be over here that will be p with n type and minority with p type material that will be n over here right now as per mass action law as per mass action law what we wanted to have minority carrier right so here see minority minority means here p that will be ni square divided by n that will be nd and here minority will be n that will be ni square divided by na right as per np is equals to ni square here p is na and here 
and is nd that is how this is coming so now if you see the relation if you see the relation over here then minority carrier is directly proportional to square of ni square so here directly proportional to intrinsic no it is directly proportional to square of intrinsic concentration so these two options are false and if you want to check other options over here then directly proportional to doping concentration no so this is also false inversely proportional to doping concentration yes you see minority is inversely proportional to doping concentration right so that is how this answer is coming so this option is correct let us have third interesting question over here this third question is also based on mass action law let me read the question first the electron and hole concentrations in intrinsic semiconductors are ni per centimeter cube at 300 kelvin so here what is given ni that is intrinsic semiconductor concentration right intrinsic concentration now if acceptor impurities are introduced with a concentration of na so when you add na what you are doing you are making t type semiconductor material right so here impurities are na means here p type semiconductor is there so p is equals to na that you can say where na is very greater than ni the electron concentration per centimeter cube will be so here question is what is the concentration of n so simply what we need to do we need to apply mass action law so what is mass action law np is equals to ni square here we need to have n that is ni square divided by p where what is p p is p is na over here right so you can say here this n will be ni square by na so your option d that will be correct option over here right let us have one more interesting question over here this fourth question that is also based on mass action law let us read the question first a silicon bar is doped with donor impurities that is nd that is 2.25 into 10 to the power 15 donor impurities means here we have n type n type semiconductor in which we have been given with donor impurity that is 2.25 into 10 to the power 15 atoms per centimeter cube see that is given to us right and donor impurities means it is small n in mass action law that you should know give the intrinsic concentration of silicon at 300 kelvin that is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 per centimeter cube so ni is given to us ni is given to us that is 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 per centimeter cube right assuming complete impurity ionization the equilibrium electron hole concentration are so electron concentration that is donor concentration so n is equals to this only right so when you want to calculate here n0 for ionization we are changing the notation a bit now instead of n i am writing n0 so that is 2.25 so out of this two one possibility is there and we need to find whole concentration means p0 right so again what we will be doing is we will be applying mass action law right now in mass action law you can say here whole concentration p0 that will be ni square divided by n0 ni square means square of this so 1.5 square that is 2.25 into 10 to the power 20 and n0 that is 2.25 into 10 to the power 15 so if you solve this this will get cancelled and this will be 1 into 10 to the power 5 per centimeter cube so p0 that is this so out of this two you see p0 this so this is our correct choice over here so my dear students questions are very easy only thing is you just need to understand theorem first 
So I have already made video based on theory. And if you see the theory video, definitely you can solve these questions very easy. But you will have to understand theory little bit. Then you can go for problem solving, right? Directly, if you go for problem solving, it will be a bit difficult for you to solve the questions in competitive examination. So I request you to go through theory first. After that, you should solve questions over here. Thank you so much for watching this video.